All right, what's up, Dragon Brood? Today is the first time I think I'm gonna be playing Elusive Otter all season, and this should actually be pretty cool. But I really spent some time trying to find the right cards to make it work, so hopefully today we find out if this is the Otter deck you should be playing, or the other deck, or the deck with the Otter. I think y'all get it. Anyway, let's go take a look. All right, so if you don't even know what Elusive Otter is, it's a 1-1 one, one for 1, which doesn't sound that awesome, but it does have prowess, and then it can't be blocked with by creatures that have power less than this card's power. So obviously if you can get it pumped up with counters or with prowess, it becomes harder to block. Now it has an adventure side, which is Grove's Bounty, that you can pay an X and a green and put X number of plus one plus one counters on across any number of creatures that you want, which is really good later game, so you have something to do with your mana, which tend to be one of those things that the quick and fast decks struggle with. Now we are going to be playing a bunch of the uh, usual suspects that you think would go along with this. We've been playing Commando Faces Kakazan, no need to really explain that. Same with Monetary Swift Spear, but mostly because it has prowess and fits our plans for today. Going with Monstrous Rage, because, well, if we just get a big otter with the rage on it, people aren't gonna be able to block it, and that's even better. And we're gonna be playing some Play With Fire, because we want some cheap spells that can actually do some damage, and we need some removal for the opponent's stuff. We're going to try a couple of copies of Royal Treatment just to protect our key cards as we get them. Of course, Charming Scoundrel, because this can help us find more cards. It can give us treasure to help it make it easier to cast stuff. One of the other cards I haven't played this season, though, is Scalding Viper. This is another one that has an adventure on one side that can return a permanent to its owner's hand. Or, when it's in play, it's a 2-1, but every time your opponent casts something costs 3 or less, they take a point of damage. No idea how good this is going to be, but I've been wanting to play it, and this just makes the most sense. We're going to be playing Questing Druid because getting more cards when you're trying to play Prowess is an excellent thing. But on top of that, it does actually let us get bigger because we have a bunch of things that aren't green. So that's going to be a bonus. And we're going to be playing Godric Cloaked Reveler because, well, why not? We do have a way to put some uh, enchantments on stuff with auras. We do have a way to play a bunch of cheap cards. So this should theoretically work out as being the right choice. Other than that, those are the cards we're playing. If you want to see the full deck list, it'll be at the end of the video, like always. Or you can go down to the description, look for the blue arrows, and take it to our Mox Field link where you can see today's deck list and a bunch of other sweet stuff you can play in standard. For now, though, let's go see if this otter works. And then, just before that, give me a couple seconds, I'll tell you about the sponsor. If you want to buy any cards for today's deck or any other game stuff, remember to go to CoolStuffInc.com. You can use code DRAGON. That'll save you 5% at checkout. And Cool Stuff Inc. always has cool stuff in stock. Okay, uh, this we kind of have to keep, right? Because we have Swift Spear, we have Questing Druid. Like, we could technically protect the Swift Spear, so let me try to kill it. I will say this, though, y'all. This is going to be one of those videos where you're probably going to have to expect a lot of misplays because this is the first time I'm playing with a couple of different cards in this list, which is uh, always fun. Especially this late in a set cycle or in a season because... Usually, you know, the first couple weeks you kind of play most of the good cards, you sort of know what's going on. But here, we're trying a bunch of new stuff for the first time, which is always fun. Now, this is tough because we can't... Actually, not true. We have a Shore Up. Never mind. I was looking at the Royal Treatment, but Shore Up works just fine here. Are you going to counter? No, I probably should have played Charming Scoundrel. Would have been the uh, better play. To try to get the treasure. But as it turns out, it would have got countered anyway. So it didn't really matter. Off to kind of a bad start here. Not a good thing. Definitely need a mana off the top. Untap, please. Ugh. Well, I mean... It still kind of lets us do a thing. Alright, we're attacking. I mean, we got three ways to protect it depending on what they decide to do to it. Mm -mm. I was like, what are we doing? We're trying something here. Uh, we're going to Iganjo. This doesn't make it big enough. That one makes it four toughness. All right. I think I'm going to use this. Sure. Also interesting because they opted to not play an extra land and instead save the Iganjo to kill something. So I'm assuming that means they have a bunch of lands in hand. Because if they skip a land here, that's going to be very weird. Okay, they do. 
I mean, our downside is we missed land on two draws, and that's not good. Collector's Vault. That's usually bad. Like, I've played my fair share of Collector's Vault. Rarely does something good come from your opponent playing that. They're usually setting up some type of shenanigans. Alright, let's get this down. At least it's something. I would leave mana open for Questing Druid, but I'm kind of the mindset that we're fighting to defend this at this point. Also, if we get another red land, the timing of the commando is not bad because it could line up well with Godric on a key turn later. All right, opponent's putting what in the yard? Something they're going to reanimate next turn, I'm assuming. No, they're definitely playing a reanimator deck, though. But it looks like either they already have the mana to just hard cast something, or they didn't get things to put in their yard to reanimate. Wandering Emperor. Great. Anyone who harms my people must Ooh, you're going to blow up your treasure to get rid of our guy? Oh, are they going to pay the ward? Awesome. Love to see it. Oh, boy. Okay, what can we do now? Opponents, that's three. That's two, three, four, five, six. Uh, is there any way? I'm like, if we play this with haste, we make a treasure, we can still kill Wandering Emperor. You know what? Let's do that. Oh, wait, that's actually plus two. Hold on a second. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nah, it's not enough. Gosh dang it. So close, though. All right. All right. Uh, just going to end the turn here. So if they do sweep the board, we do have... Godric and the Kamano token on the backside. Now, if we do find another red on tap land, then we'll also have Monster's Rage, and I think that would be lethal. Or actually, even just pumping once would be lethal at that point, so that's fine. Uh, Torch the Tower. Gonna deal two? Ugh, this is where we're gambling, huh? <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. And just say, if you got more removal cards, you got more removal cards. Let's see them. Alright, cool. Make this appear works. You killed my scoundrel. We know Swift Spear's clear now. And still, an untapped red land's probably still lethal here. Alright. Uh, we might have got there. It's crazy to think we did most of this with just two land in this game. It's just amazing. They could have another Torch to the Tower, though. Kills off the Kamano. Yeah, it looks like they might. Yep. Okay. Well, we did what we could. Opponents at one. And it really didn't matter if we'd have used that uh, Rage or not on the previous turn. It looks like that might be it. Awesome. Uh, because ultimately they would have still had the uh, Make Disappear in hand either way. So they were playing the Reanimator deck. They just didn't have the right tools at the right time. Temporary Lockdown will get rid of our Swift Spear, but not our Godric. And that will do it. All right. Woo, that was a crazy game. But we got it. Oh, man, we got the only two Storm Carved Coasts with this hand. Wow. Uh, maybe we'll get an untapped land. Let's see. Okay, well, that's a start. Let's go here. Mostly to try to make this harder to kill next turn. I don't think we'll succeed, but who knows. 
I mean, if we get like another untapped land and then they try to cut down, that would be cool. But no such luck. So we're just going to be rolling out things the next couple of turns, it looks like. Obviously, this is dead. I was like, take your pick. Okay, they're using go for the throats. That's good to know. What you got? Blood Tithe Harvester. Sounds good. Okay, not bad. This gives us a few options. What if we... Just go here. And here. And the taxis. I mean, obviously we gotta try, even though it's probably a trap. Oh, looks like it was indeed not a trap. Interesting. Okay. Moonvell Regents. We will be bouncing a Moonvell Regent. And getting a lot of damage in here. And attacking. Alright, opponents at three. Gonna kill our board? Because we have a lot of things that are easy to kill. They say no. Interesting. Uh, we will try this. Just to try to get another point in if the opponent does something cheap. Well, sure. I'm not sure that would have saved them unless I just didn't have an instant. But it didn't really matter. It's way more than enough. Yep, pick your blocks, friend. Alright, cool. Okay. Sure. Just trying to figure out what order I want to play stuff in. I think it's Swift Spear first. Then we get the option of following with these. Maybe bounce a thing on the following turn. Yeah. Maybe we find something to protect this from a cut down. Nope, it's not a cut down there. Lunok Veteran. Okay. Weirdly, I kind of want to just bounce our Lunark Veteran. Make life gain. Oh, I played the wrong land to do that, though. That was stupid. Should have thought my plan through first before playing a land. Because Viper actually I'm, might be worth just playing straight up here, really. Because they're probably playing a bunch of cheap things to gain life or token makers and stuff. So those incidental points are going to add up. All right, you got your 2-1 duder. Congrats. Um, what to do now? Hmm. Might just be the same plan. Just keep them slowed down here temporarily. It's kind of all we're working towards, I think. Okay, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. That could have been like Adeline or something there, and that would have sucked. Ooh, we got an otter, though. We got an otter. Things are looking promising. Now, do we want to just put one counter on something and play this? I think we are. I think we're just going to go one counter. On this. And attack. Then we can otter, attack, druid... Give us some options.
Yeah, I'm not blocking. Like, like just go for it. That that road was wide open. We we were gonna do nothing about it. Okay, so let's say they have a wandering emperor. Oh, they could have a way to just flash in a bunch of dudes here, which would be kind of interesting. Huh. But I kind of hmm. All right. Let's attack. With just these two. There's enough things we could find that are one mana that could still be beneficial here. Whether it's a play with fire. Alright. Opponent wants to do nothing. Sure. I mean, I'm not committing until you commit. <laughs> like, like, two people can play that game. You know what? I think I'm just going to go Otter Otter and then just force them to do something on their turn. I don't think they're a sweeper deck. If they are, so be it. Yeah, there's the Wandering Emperor. See? Sometimes you just know things, y'all. Like, you can feel it. We're going to get rid of our etchings. All right, that makes sense. They go to nine. All right, in the turn. Glad I didn't waste the turn to put the counters on stuff. That ended up being absolutely correct. Ah, uh, second Lunark veteran is going to be annoying, though. Because they're going to get two life here by making the two two. Ugh. Well, they might just put a plus one, plus one on something. Or they could have another Wandering Emperor. Which would suck for us. Alright. They are still at 9, though, as it stands. Oh, that's super annoying. So, they're going to go gain some life. So, they're going to be at 10. We're going to need to make some really big otters. Basically what this means. We'll see, though. Alright, that gets removed. I just realized we drew. Did we draw any spells this game? Not really. Just the commando. That's tough. All right. I'm just attacking for three. No blocks. All right. We need something good here. You know what? A play with fire is not bad, though. Play with fire is not bad. We can at least work with that. Play a land. Now we could kill Brutal Cathar. Then play the other questing druid. Or actually use the other druid ability, which would make this a 3 3, which means then we get to kill the Wandering Emperor. Ugh, yeah, I think it starts there at least. Resolve that. So then we can play this other one. Not sure what we get out of that, though. Other than, Yeah, we have to if we want to be able to kill the Wandering Emperor. Sucks, because we're probably going to throw a card away here. Unless it's another burn spell. Oh, but it's a Monstrous Rage. Hold on. Now can we kill the opponent? So this is four... All right, well, we're going to rage. Actually, yeah, because we're going to lose it, use it or lose it here. We attack the opponent. That's 11. They have to block. Yeah, we just attack with all of it at the opponent. That's it. Wow. Wow. Woo. Yeah, so there was four they can't block, so they're effectively at six. This is seven, but if they are eight, nine, sorry, but if they block one of them, then this tramples for another six. So either way, they're going to take 10 there. That that was really tight. But fortunately, that's why you build the deck with a bunch of one mana things. You know, I don't love this, but being on the draw, it's probably fine. All right. I mean, it doesn't do much, but we'll see. Sleeper, sure. 
mean, I guess we just kill a sleeper. Assume the opponent's going to try to remove something from our hand next turn. Wow, deck. Really? I mean, I guess we do this. Make a treasure? Yeah, like, drawing and discarding doesn't do any good here, because if I get a better card, they're just going to make us discard it, so... Treasure's fine. It's not the best situation, but it'll do. Really? Alright, well, if I'd have known that was an option... <laughs> like, maybe I would have made the other play. May I assume you're not blocking? Alright, end the turn. I might be gross and just spin both play with fires on their concealed curtains if they use it. Alright, there's a shielded. Wow, really? I've only drawn two creatures this game. That sucks. Um, sure. I can't come anywhere close to killing them with this, so I can't even really consider that. Alright. Yep. I think this is just bad. This is one of those hands we can't win with, I don't think. There's just not enough there. And if they get, like, Liliana or something here, we're even more wrecked. Thorn's pretty tough. I should get another life linker here. Yep. We take it. I mean, you're something. I'm not sure how good that something is. Hmm. I could just shoot Soren. Punch through this thing. All right. Without me, we're all doomed. Could shoot the opponents. Nah, it's not really worth it. Let's just go here. Alright. Don't think this gives us any real chance of racing, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Alright. You got it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just dead next turn, right? Yeah, that's not going to get us there. Alright, GG's. Okay, sure. Well, that's a thing. Alright, let's pass. We're probably going to either have to kill the Visitor or Jukai Naturalist here. Looks like we're just... Uh, cancel. Let them try to play like a... Oh, they don't have it. I was going to say maybe like an Audacity or something first. But if they just don't have it, they don't have it. Okay. I mean, we can always bounce stuff, so, I mean, that's a way out, but uh, not our preferred option. Okay, that's actually fine if they're using it on that stuff. Like, we can survive some of this for a minute. And I think here we just pass. With the possibility of playing whatever we get off the questing druid next turn. Yeah, we can get rid of a Hallowed Haunting. Or at least make them replay it. That's mostly fine. Well, that's not doing a whole lot for us, is it? So what I think we do 
is we bounce both of these. And then next turn play... Hmm. Don't even know if that's good enough. This is going to be difficult. I mean, randomly, we could also get that back, but that doesn't achieve anything. All right. I think we return that. I think we return this. Yep. Interesting, they played those in the other order. wonder why that is. Um, trying to figure out the best thing to do here. We play this. We play this. Yeah, man, if there was ever a time, we really needed one of our royal treatments here. Keep something from getting exiled. Yep, that's going to be rough. Not sure how we're going to get maybe some version of Scalding Vipers keeping us alive. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, or not keeping us alive, but dealing damage to the opponent. All right. They're going to attack with their Generous Visitor. Excellent. We are blocking. Okay. All right, your thing. We can maybe make something happen here. So if we play this, this becomes a five-five. This gains flying and all right. I mean, we're we're piecing together something here. Not our greatest plan ever, but, you know, sometimes you work with what you got. All right, they're at seven. They're going to copy a spirit, I'm assuming. We just have to hope they don't make enough spirits that we just die here. Like, that, that's the real concern. All right, they go to five. Getting rid of that makes sense. Oh, no. They go to three. Is there any way we could survive this? I don't think we can. Oh, wait, no. We can block one and go to two? Oh, man. We need this to hit so bad. But if it does, we can win. All right, this is it. Oh, questing druid, this is all on you. We did it. Oh, well, and we got the otter randomly. Don't need it, but that's cool. Uh, this costs us one point, so we go to one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, actually, what's cool is I, the reason the opponent can see it is because I could have just went like otter and this, and I think not taking any damage either, because I could have just played it with the storm carb coast. I guess play it in the other order, but it doesn't really matter. It's just about making Godric fly and coming across the top. But oh man, Vipers did their job that time. Woo. Ooh, we got all the damage lands, huh? All right, well, let's see. Sure, why not? Okay. Ooh, that's an intriguing option, too, here. Uh, but I think we want to stay aggressive if we can. Let's just go here. He gets its counters. We get a treasure. They do not have a cut down, which is a great sign. In the turn. Actually, knowing they don't have a cut down, I should have... Well, I don't know. We could still protect something with royal treatment. I guess it's fine. I was thinking I could have just played the other Commando Faces Kakazan, but it may not matter in the end. Especially since our creatures are bigger than the one ones they have here. 
Burn spells are cute, but uh, not really checking the boxes we want. Uh, do we... Yeah, let's go ahead. Maximize our damage here. We'll go ahead and hit them with one of these. In the turn. And we're looking real close. We're not quite there yet, but real close. Since this tramples and we put one there, we can shoot something. See what we draw here. The fairy. All right. We may have to make a detour to uh, take out the fairy along the way. Though, if we draw, I was gonna say a monastery swift spear. Could we just win? No, because I still have a blocker from the one one here and the two life. So yeah. Even with that, we wouldn't have had quite enough. Wow, this is becoming somewhat silly. All right. I think that's what we got to do. Okay, we're going to play one of these. And then we'll do this to finish off the fairy. Okay. And we're still protected from sweepers, mostly here. Because we'll have a creature come into play. We still have a damage spell. Liliana. Okay. You got it. Something suspicious is going on. And for once, it's not my fault. Resolve. I guess we have to sacrifice that. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Uh, we're gonna have an. I guess we have to shoot this. Well, let's wait till our turn. All right, glad I waited. We can shoot this, and I think we can kill the opponent now. Yep, we just swing. And we'll put this here. And that should do it. Alright. Woo! Okay, I think we're going to keep this one, but cautiously. With uh, kind of low expectations, but we'll see. Alright. I'll assume they have a shock here. Or a uh, play with fire, I mean. Yep. I guess I could have waited since I left a red open, but... Got a little greedy. Also, if we don't get an untapped land here, it doesn't do anything. So that was just bad all around. Alright. We got an untapped land. The question is, is that enough to do anything? Don't know if it is. I think I'm going... Plus one. I'm going to go here. A little bit of a gamble, but I'm going to try to set up something here. Maybe if they only have another play with fire, they shoot the otter, we can protect it with the monster's rage. Otherwise, it just dies, and then we got nothing. All right, you got a scoundrel. Yep, he big. All right, I guess I'm just taking it. Not sure what else I'm going to do there. Shore up. That gets kind of interesting. I kind of like that. Now we can make this a 2-2. Two -two, keep either of these up. And then do some shenanigans with Godric next turn. So, sure. Put a wicked roll token there, I guess. Pass the turn. Not how I thought this was going to go down at all, but, you know, here we are, rocking and rolling. It's a Kinzen. Wow. Okay, that does do a thing. Still only attacking with that, though. 
Why use the Kinzen if you're only going to attack with that? That's very peculiar. If I play Monstrous Rage, I only am turning this in same 2-2. Two, two. So, I guess we pass... Block? Am I wanting to block, though? Alright. I mean, I don't love it, but it's something. Oh, an extra Godric. That's not what we wanted. Not what we wanted at all. Alright, we pass. I can at least make Godric a 4-4. If push comes to shove. I don't know if they have anything else, but... I mean, if they do, it's going to hurt, but, yeah, what are we going to do? I mean, you give something plus... Two. I mean, I guess we just take it. No blocks. I mean, hit us for a bunch. Yeah. That's what I would do. All right, we're at eight, so now we have to be very... Oh, no, 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 no. That is not what we wanted. Ah, that sucks. That's real bad. Man, we drew all three in the deck. If these were almost any other spells, we'd be okay here. Ah, that hurts. And we're basically playing with the dead hand right now. The only good news is they might possibly waste removal here. And then we just replace Godric, right? Like, there's not much else there to talk about, though. Pretty terrible. All right, hey, at least you're a blocker. We'll take it. I mean, I guess I could play one of the... No, nah, I'm not attacking here. I was going to say I could play one and just to attack with the other, but that's stupid. I'm, I'm not attacking there. Yeah, okay. Why not? I mean, we're dead either way here. They obviously have something to pump a creature. All right, cool. All right, I guess we keep. That'll work. You know, how about we try this? Obviously going to get countered. Yep, works for me. Oh, this is fun. Uh, how about we go with this? Don't want to run the Godric in, because I'm pretty sure they have something they're just waiting to counter with. Um, yeah, let's attack. I'm going to try leading with this. I mean, if they just have depopulate, then, like, so be it. We just have to live with that. I mean, they might just have Land Wandering Emperor here. Oh, they didn't have Land Wandering Emperor, so that's something. Hmm. And we go... One counter. Maybe here. Only not doing two, so I have the option of maybe getting another... Uh, oh yeah, that's fine. We can live with that. I'm not opposed to that at all. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit the opponent here. Do I care about another land? Kinda yes, kinda no. I think I'm gonna say no, though. And we're just gonna risk it for the biscuit here.
And just say if, if you got something, you got something. This is probably getting countered. Yep, that makes sense. Do 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 do. And get your wandering emperor on the opponent. There you go. Feel the energy of battle, then guide it like water. I am oh, why were you a turn late? Why were you so late? You had potential to be so cool. Still have much to learn. All right, why not? I mean, they're obviously playing some deck that's just going to sunfall here as soon as they get their fifth land. Yep. Not a surprise. We'll just draw. All right. Seems as good as anything. We'll attack. Opponents at five. Oh, that's intriguing, to say the least. All right, I guess we'll attack. Uh, let's at least try this. Well, just lands. Fair enough. All right, you got a wandering emperor. My opponent's at one. Definitely going to play a land here. I lose this anyway. But I need a green land here. Alright. I mean, it's probably another Sunfall, and I have to find a way to top deck a burn spell or something, but... You know, is what it is. Or a haste spell here, actually. Any hasty creature works. <laughs> Lucive Otter, you're not quite it, friend, but you know what? I ain't mad at you. Let's go three counters. Whoa, 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 Arena. You were not going to leave me blue to play my Otter? What was that about? At least that's what that felt like. That was very concerning. All right. Still just looking for a burn spell here. Probably staring down their fifth or their third sunfall and their third wandering emperor, but uh, that works too. Let's attack. If they put a wandering emperor on the stack, then we'll just try to shoot them. Yep. Activate the other one. All right, now we got it. They don't have anything that's going to stop us here. All right, cool. We'll take it. Ooh, that was a lot to fight through for this deck. So this is kind of interesting. The way this played out, I could see a combination of two things going into this list. I think we could consider the Red Virtue, possibly. Just for the games that go long and giving us another burn spell, I think this could be kind of intriguing. If we wanted to place, replace some number of like uh, Questing Druids and Scalding Viper. Though the Scalding Viper's ability to remove something's nice. I think we only won one game because of the actual like deal of damage ability. It was critical when we had it, so I'm not saying just completely dismiss the card. But another thing we could do is just go with more prowess stuff. And realistically, the Kinra is actually a more than acceptable card. We even have the blue, so we don't even have to take damage to flip this. And the backside prowess on this is actually really strong, too. So again, I think if you wanted to cut, say, like, two Viper and one Questing Druid to play three Kinra Spellspear, 
that probably is pretty good for this type of list. And now, it does remove a couple of spells you could play, which is real, but the reality is the spell on the Scalding Viper is also just a sorcery. It's not instant, and this is an instant that gets you access to more things, but we'd be able to do more damage, and this would trample, so there's a lot to weigh there, honestly. I don't think it's a slam dunk either way. However, for today's list in the list we played, we did have four Elusive Otter, two Shore Up, four Commando Faces Kakazan, four Monetary Swift Spe Monastery Swift Spear, four Monstrous Rage, four Play With Fire, two Royal Treatment, four Charming Scoundrel, two, four Scalding Viper. I'm already cutting the Vipers in my head. Uh, four Questing Druid, three Godric, Cloaked Reveler, one Island in Ottawara, two Mountain Sakinzen, four Shivan Reef, two Stormcarved Coast, four Copperline Gorge, one Carplusion Forest, two Rockfall Vale, four Yavamaya Coast. So yeah, the more I think about it, I think the Kendra Spell Spear might be the better option. Mostly because it's just another solid body. It starts out as a 2-2, which means you can block more stuff. Obviously on the backside it gets double prowess, and it has ward, which is pretty big. So I think there's a lot of reasons to want to include that in the list. And I might even do that in the final list. It does mean you have, like I said, a few more spells, or a few fewer spells. Which is a big deal because whenever you're playing prowess you want to be able to trigger more things so that's going to be a little bit of a balance i think if you want to i'm going to include some kendra spell spirit in the final list feel free to swap those back out if you want to go back to the old list but this one was a lot of fun the otter was cool could the deck have been played without the blue in the list like maybe but to be honest the sure up came into play a couple of times as did the otter just being an otter so yeah this was a fun one i might actually be playing this more even after i'm done with this video just to try it out do some different trickery things and now for today's card spot light spotlight we're gonna talk about lutri this was a very interesting card because it is also an otter and i think there's only like five otters in magic interestingly it's not a popular creature type the fun thing about this card though is it's one of the few cards that was actually preemptively banned in commander and Partly because all the stuff going on with the commander stuff or a uh, companion stuff and then also just the ability itself could be kind of out of hand with very little work, though I kind of get it. Now we never got to see what a world looked like with Lutri, but I'm kind of okay not seeing that. The interesting about this card though is it, is it had several printings already and it's only a couple of years old, so you can find these probably as low as like 25 cents in a lot of places. But it's funny because it even carries that value, though it's only played in a couple of formats. So yeah, this is a very weird card, but it has some really sweet art. It's just sad it never really got its time in any major format. Just kind of the way things fell for it. And if you enjoyed today's deck and you like playing these kind of crazy, hyper, aggro, funky things, this gruel list here was actually really surprisingly powerful and you probably want to take a look at it. But that's all I have you for now. We'll see you next time.